Tubers, it's George here at Stitch Crafts with George. Um, welcome to my channel, thank you for stopping by to watch me and um, if you're new here then I really hope you like what you see and you might subscribe, that would be wonderful and thank you so much to all my regular viewers, I really appreciate you coming back to see me. I really must apologise because I have not done a video for I think it's three weeks, mm, really bad, sorry. Um, it's basically just because, well, I don't really have a good reason. It's not like I've been going out anywhere and been busy, but I think the problem is is that I've been in a bit of a, a bit of a slump, if you know what I mean. So I feel like unless I'm in a super good, happy mood, then um, it's quite hard to sort of like. I think it comes across on the camera if you see what I mean. So now that I'm feeling a bit more out of my funny mood, I thought I come on and do a video. It's just, um, you know, I have still been doing bits of stitching here and there. Um, obviously, I'm still working full time from home um, with my little laptop. Um, oh, sorry, my door is creaking. One minute. Oh, that's better. Sorry about that. If you don't shut this door, then it just creaks because I've got the windows open because it's a really lovely day today. Um, I'm in Zoe's room. Uh, as you can see because this room's got the best light and she's actually laying about in my bed today <laughs> just having a bit of a lazy day which I don't blame her um, and obviously you know you don't want to be seeing her laying about in my bed <laughs> so yes I'm in Zoe's room which as you can see is covered in cuddly toys um, yeah and Harry Potter posters and things like that so it, it is nice it's a bit of a fun setting for me to do my video in although not maybe the most mature but you know who cares <laughs> I'm not the most mature so there we have it <laughs> um, so I hope you're all keeping safe and well and you know that you're managing to get by during this weird time um, I know different countries and different areas of countries are all in different stages of this lockdown or, or non-lockdown, whatever you're doing at the moment. Um, here in the UK we are sort of like it's starting to come out of lockdown a little bit. Um, the message is quite clear to still stay home where you can, work from home if you can, so obviously I'm still working from home. Um, my hubby Jez, he's still furloughed at the moment. His work don't quite know yet when he will be called back in. Um, but that's mainly due to the fact that obviously at this time not many people require a garage um, where he works. So the workload is very small. So as soon as that starts to pick up, I guess he'll be called back in. Um, yeah, other than that, obviously you're still allowed to pop out to your supermarket stops and things like that. Other shops aren't open yet, so like your non-essential shops aren't open yet. Um, they're thinking of opening the schools back up in a couple of weeks time, which, um, you know, most of us parents, I think, feel that it's not really the right time. But for me, Zoe, my Zoe, she's 10 now. She's in year five at school and um, her year wouldn't be one of the first to be called back. So I won't have to actually deal with that just yet. Um, if they open. It's not definite yet. Obviously, they still need to assess where we are and everything with the rate of infection and things like that. Um, we are now allowed to go out and see um, one other person outside your household, out in a public area, if you're two metres apart. So, you know, I could do this. I could go and see my sister, for example. I would find it so hard, though, to be two meters apart from her. Like, I think I just burst into tears when I see her in person, to be honest with you. <laughs> because we used to work together. If you followed me from the start, you'll know that I was a childminding assistant for my sister. And um, I worked with her for two years. And we spent literally every day together. Um, we're very close. We're like best friends as well as sisters. And we've gone from literally doing that to now, barely, well, I haven't seen her probably once or twice through the window um, during this the, the last few months when she's dropped me some shopping off or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really hard, isn't it, not seeing your friends and family? Um, you know, but what can you do? You've got to stay safe. So, you know, once this is all over, we shall 
all get together. I can't wait for that. I can't wait for this to all be over and just get all my family together and have a lush barbecue or something in the garden. A few drinks. Oh, it'd be really nice. You know, all the kids can play together. It would be lovely. I just can't wait for that time. So that's what I'm focusing on. Try and be positive, isn't it? But I hope for you guys that you're all okay, um, whatever the situation is with you. I hope that you're at least staying safe and well and that you've got everything that you need. Um, yeah, that's all we can hope for really, isn't it, at the moment. Um, so, enough of me rambling. On to cross stitch. <laughs> I have a, quite a bit to show you actually, because obviously I haven't done a video in three weeks, so that's quite nice that I have a little backlog of stuff to show you, what I've been up to. Um, let's get to it. Oh, actually I have a finish to show you first of all. I think I did. It's so hard when you haven't done a video for three weeks because I can't remember what I quite showed you last time, but I don't I don't even think I'd started this one. Um, I did a Thank You NHS design, which is this. Isn't he cute? Little rainbow holding up a banner. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I did mess this banner up a little bit, but I don't think you can tell. In fact, I probably hadn't told you, you probably wouldn't know. <laughs> um, but I think that makes it unique, so it's fine. Yeah, this one was from the Geeky Stitching Company. Um, and again, it, oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I've gone back to being an amateur with my camera again. <laughs> you don't do a video for three weeks and it makes you go all funny. <laughs> um, anyway, yes, that one was purchased from the Geeky Stitching Company. And as I was gonna say, if you followed me for a while, you know that I love the Geeky Stitching Company. Jess creates some lush, cute, fun designs. And if you're looking for something to just cheer you up, they're amazing and they're quite quick to stitch usually. Um, so yeah, I did this one and I've got it up and displayed. Say so thank you to our NHS, because obviously they are having a horrific time at the moment. Although, I think, you know, I've, I've been told on the news and by the government on the telly and everything that our hospitals are coping so, so well with all of the um, coronavirus um, patients. So, and we actually have free beds. So, amazing. So, thank you to everybody. If you're watching and you're a key worker, whatever you do, thank you. Just get that in there. <laughs> um, so, last time I had... Um, made a start on my little dove designs little doves year which is a stitch along that I'm doing with my friend Christy hi Christy um which I will put the hashtag down below for you if you want to join in if you if you're stitching this one up or you've bought it and let me just see if I can get the actual design for you here we go it's called little doves year and it's just absolutely beautiful I think they're so cute all of them so there's a little design obviously for each month and last time I had literally just started March, which has got the little sheepies. And I have now finished March. So I will show you now. I love it, it's so cute. I was hoping to be keeping up month by month, but it's just not happening. Because <laughs> I've got too many other things on the go as well, but it doesn't matter, just pick it up when you want, isn't it? So this is much all done I just love it I love those sheep they are just the cutest so I'm super happy with that love it um April what is April I'm guessing it's probably got sort of like rain in it we always have April showers don't we oh yeah April has got uh kites an umbrella the sun and some rain look if you have a little look so sweet that one looks like it would be fairly quick to stitch actually because some of them have got more in to, than others you know so some squares take longer um i found eight uh, marches took quite a while i suppose there's quite a lot of stitches in that one so yes i shall look forward to starting on april if i could catch up that'd be lovely but i'll have to do april may because it won't be long will it and we'll be into june it's only think about a week away so I've got to admit all my days and things are merging into one so I don't really know what day I think it's the 24th of May I think <laughs> it's a Sunday anyway um so yeah I'm filming this basically on Sunday the 24th but I won't be uploading it until 
tomorrow, which is the Monday. Be the reason for that is because I've made a card for my stepmum and I wanted to show you. So I thought if I film it today, I'll be giving it to her on her birthday tomorrow. When I say giving it to her, I'm not going in the house or anything. I don't want to alarm anyone. <laughs> I'm literally going to go down with Zoe and Jez and we're going to, they've got a porch, so they'll leave it open and I can put the stuff in there and then shut the door and then we just talk to each other through the window and it's like open like that much. <laughs> so only just stand there for a couple of minutes and say hi to her and my dad um, and then we'll head home. So we're still being safe. But I'm also gonna make her some cupcakes later to take down. Um, but Zoe and I have both made her a card. So I'll show you both, even though Zoe's isn't a cross stitch one, but it's, it's really fun. Um, and for a present, she wanted a voucher. So that was, quite easy um it's getting easier to order stuff now online um it comes pretty quick now to be honest like most stuff I've been ordering off Amazon has been coming you know I've got Amazon Prime so it's over here the next day or like the day after that it's it's pretty much gone back to normal now so which is brilliant right the other one that I have done quite a bit on is this beautiful Maria Diaz design that um, was from the World of Cross Stitching magazine and I did find what issue number I think I linked that on one of my my last video or the one before so um, but you can see this it's, just, it's cut off a little bit at the side do apologize but it literally just goes down there the border it's a spring design because I just love it I think it's so cute and pretty and this was a bit of a bodge up because I um I'm sort of like winging the colours if you like <laughs> I didn't have all the called for colours but I just kind of thought oh it's fine I'm just gonna go with it so this is where I have got to so far last time I showed you I think I'd just done the rabbit and the bee and the flower I don't even know if I've done the rabbit actually but this is what I have done so far this little bluebird here is so cute. I love it. I'm really enjoying doing this one and I think this fabric is so nice. don't know if you can really get the colours that well on here. But it's sort of like um, tie-dyed lilacs and purples and whites. So really nice. So yeah, I'm really enjoying doing that one. I've got still a fair bit to do to be fair. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice easy stitch because it's just so pretty, you know. So... That's lovely. I've actually stitched some of that one in the garden, which was nice. You can get out in the garden and stitch. I think it's so relaxing, but um, it's quite windy at the moment. Although it's a really lovely day, it's so, so windy. So I wouldn't want to be taking my stuff out there today. <laughs> right, the other one that I, I don't know if you remember, but I had started a free stitch along, which was by Doreen Jones, um, who's, a brilliant designer she's one of my favorites um, and she decided to do just a small um, free stitch along and it was one part released every Friday on Facebook and you could just go on and get the pattern the chart um, I'm halfway through nearly no, I think I am halfway through yeah so I have actually got all of the parts now because it finished for about a week or two ago, but I just haven't got around to stitching them all. But I've done half of it, so this is where I have got to so far. I'm loving it. The last one that I stitched was this hair. That was part three. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. I know there's some gnomes. Uh, and I can't remember what else there is, but yeah. So I'm going to try and finish this one up soon. I really love stitching this. It's just so much fun. It's so cute. Because she said it was going to be a garden sale at first. I was a bit like, hmm. Because I'm not too much into like florally designs and things like that. But because it's um, got like little creatures in it and all pretty things. I'm loving it. So thanks Doreen Jones for creating that free sale. Is ever so kind of you? Um, I've also had May's, um, what do you want to say, May's instalment of um, the Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries Stitch Along, um, which is Animal Almanac, it's such a mouthful, I, I say that every time, <laughs> but I, have, I haven't managed to mess it up have I yet saying that, I don't know how, <laughs> um, May's design was so super cute. 
well they're always super cute aren't they from there they do some gorgeous designs um but may's design was a hippo and a baby hippo let me show you look i oh. do you know what the cat is scratching at the door one minute come on then <laughs> come on then hello say hi he wanted to come in and say hello and he always gate crashes my videos don't you hey sorry about that people <laughs> lightning just likes to come and say hello anyway back to my cross stitch um yes this is a hippo here doing a barbecue and then there's the baby hippo on the climbing frame in the background this is so cute and here's a little mustard and ketchup down here and two burgers so i super love doing this one let me show you what it's looking like so far so i've got about a week to go until june's is released this is how it's looking so far so again it's really good and each one oh lightning's up here with the tripod <laughs> if you start wobbling around i apologize he's so cheeky lightning what are you doing just likes to get in on the action i think um yeah so part six of june's will be Ooh. <laughs> it's not an earthquake it's my cat <laughs> um yeah june's will be coming out yeah in about a week's time so i shall look forward to that i wonder what animal it will be this time i reckon it's going to start to be really summery sort of theme now that we're getting into june it feels weird to think that it's going to be summer doesn't it i suppose it's just because everything's merging into one at the minute you don't sort of well i don't know i don't really feel like it's going to be summer at all <laughs> um right again back to little dove designs who i love <laughs> one of my favorite designers um I'm doing the high street sale if you remember so I think last time I just got part three which was a boutique um, and I've completely finished that part and I've also now got part four which is a little cafe which is cute let me show you the design this is part four I think that is so super cute and I love those little birds on the top I'd love to sit outside here and have a nice drink and a bit of cake can't go anywhere and do that in a minute can we <laughs> so this is it so I that's the boutique all done and this is you can't really make it out too well but that's the sort of like beigey color on the cafe there so I really love doing that boutique I was a bit annoyed with myself it seemed to take me forever to do that boutique though because I went wrong and only by one stitch but it put the rest of it out and I had to unpick it because I just couldn't get around it because I'm one of those people that if I can sort of like get round a mistake I will I don't like unpicking stuff if I'm quite honest I will happily just leave like one stitch wrong or something if you can't really tell but um in this it, it was just going to put it all out so I had to which was a bit of a shame but yeah anyway I just love stitching that well all of Little Dove designs um she does some beautiful ones in fact i have purchased one which i will show you i've got it on my kindle because i downloaded i um bought the pdf which was five pounds i've been wanting it for ages and i just thought you know what i'm just gonna get it now it's part of the a stitch for all seasons and i believe these were actually maybe in cross stitcher mag or something like that pretty sure they were anyway but this is it oh hopefully you can see that I love it because you see that bit in the middle with the um the little table and chairs looking out on the sea that reminds me of one of my holidays in Mallorca with Jez and Zoe um <laughs> it's quite funny because we went to the, we usually go to the same complex but this one year it was just they put their prices up and we couldn't afford to go so we ended up at this other resort which was a massive massive resort um and it just it wasn't the same at all I mean it was nice to go away but we didn't really enjoy that place too much 
um, and the food was a bit mm, so we were all inclusive so you know usually we would just have everything there because that's the whole point isn't it so you don't have to spend any more money but the food was not nice so we ventured out to this McDonald's that we found down the road and it was literally across from the beach so you could sit there out on the veranda eating your McDonald's and looking out on the sea oh it's so beautiful and that's what that reminds me of <laughs> typical that everything reminds me of food I'm terrible I don't know about everybody else but like this lockdown is terrible for food I could be taking this time thinking right I'm gonna really get in shape right now but instead I'm just like give me the food it's terrible especially seeing as they've actually said that um coronavirus apparently is worse for people who are obese so you would think that would make me think right I'm gonna eat salad now and nothing else but no not me <laughs> so yeah I don't know how true that is by the way but that's what I've been hearing on the news and everything so but anyway I just feel like there's not a lot to get you know if you are just stuck at home there's not much to be sort of like excited about well probably not for anyone really but that food is one of the main things that I can get excited about at the moment so it's a bit like you can't well I can't get that excited about cucumber and tomato but I do get excited about chocolate <laughs> terrible isn't it oh I'm not a good girl at all <laughs> That's why cross stitch is good because it keeps your hands busy and you're not eating them, so that's really good. <laughs> um, right, what else have I got to show you? A couple more things. So I mentioned that I have made um, my stepmom's birthday card, so I'm going to show you now. I'm really happy with it actually. It's here. The lighting's not very good for showing this. Um, so this is like a little birthday cake, obviously. It says happy birthday and I frayed all the edges and then I just attached this bow this is just like a plain card so I'm gonna write in for her so I want to get like a personalized stamp that I can stamp on the back that says something like hands stitched with love by George or something like that you know so I'm gonna see I know on eBay you can get those so I'll have a little look because I feel like I would like to do that because I might give somebody a stitch card one day. I'm sure they probably work out that I've stitched it, but they might think I've purchased it or something when actually I've picked that design. I, I love it. I'm, I'm definitely gonna carry on stitching more cards if I can, because um, I really enjoy sort of like going through all my little charts. I've got hundreds of them and picking something that's nice for that person. Like my stepmom likes baking and stuff like that. So I thought, a cake would be really nice for her but I've got a design pit for my sister which I'm not going to say what it is because she might watch this video <laughs> and a couple for friends as well so now that I've actually done this first one I'm definitely going to carry on what are you doing there's a cat incoming just to warn you oh god here he comes lightning <laughs> oh he's such a little tinker anyway so yeah I'm going to give that to her tomorrow and Zoe made um, her a card as well. Obviously, she is my stepmom. She, um, she's Zoe's nanny. Look. <laughs> so, got one of my tea bags, put some googly eyes on, did a little mouth. Nanny, you're terrific. <laughs> Actually, got this idea off of um, Pinterest, but we've sort of like changed it a bit. But because she loves her cup of tea, does Nanny. So tea and cake, what more can you want, eh? That's like my ideal afternoon. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to show those to you now because um, obviously I'm going to give those away tomorrow. Lightning. Now the design I got for my little cake cross stitch, I got from this magazine here. I don't know if any of you bought this and I'm sorry if you're wobbling around. <sighs> my door's creaking, the cat's wobbling the tripod. Anything else, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is what my videos are always like isn't it but you know this is my life so I, I'm not going to be one of these people that comes on here and everything's perfect because it's just not my life but I wouldn't want my life any other way so it's fine um anyway so this was a special cross stitch magazine edition that they brought out um 365 cross stitch designs 
don't know if any of you have got it, but there is just loads. Obviously, I've, it's a bit difficult for me to show you because they're all charts. And obviously, I can't show you the charts, but uh, the one that I got the cake from was from this birthday fun section. So it's got some other super cute ones. But there is all sorts of designs in here. Um, there's some bigger ones. In fact, there is a massive Doreen Jones design which is a Christmas one, let me show you. Which is that one, which I actually went and purchased off her website, uh, Etsy shop a little while back. Um, I didn't realise that I already had it. <laughs> Never mind, it doesn't matter. It's good to support these um, lovely designers, so I don't mind. But yeah, there's some super lovely little cute designs in there. That's where I got that from. Um, one more thing to show you, which is a new purchase. Oh, actually, there's two things to show you. I don't know if I can show you the other one, actually. No, I'll leave that for another time. Um, anyway, another geeky stitching um, design. So it comes in this lovely super cute box. Always has a super cute sticker on. So this is the design. This wasn't a club box because Jess does a monthly box. You don't have to buy it. Um, usually I do. <laughs> but this was like a one-off design that she did. Lightning. Oh, excuse me a minute. He is such a little tinker. Anyway, yes. Stay wild at heart. This is so cute. And the, the fabric is that yellow colour. I can show you. I love it. Do, 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 do. It's really nice. It doesn't pick it up too well, does it, on here? But it's like a pale yellow colour. So, and the hoop obviously inside. There's a bit of um, pink ribbon I just dropped on the floor. That can go around the outside, or you could put it on top with a little loop to hang it up. So, yeah, I've got that one ready to do. Well, I've still got a few other ones, as you can imagine. But Jess... Um, She's bringing out one that I really, really love the look of. It's in an oval hoop and it's a cat and it's so cute. Um, I just love, obviously, cats, even if they're trying to ruin your YouTube videos. <laughs> um, but anything with cats on, I'm there. Well, most animals, to be fair, but I do love cat designs. So I will probably purchase that one. I'm not sure what the next uh, club box will be. Her website's actually shut at the minute because she's just been so crazy busy, which I'm not surprised at. Um, she can't really keep up. So she's shut the website, the shop on there for a bit till the 1st of June, I think. So then there will be another sub box that I can have a look at to see if I fancy that one. But I know that cat design is going to be on there. So at least I can I can get that one because it's so cute. Um, yeah, you should go and check her out if you love super fun, cute cross stitches. Obviously, I like doing bigger designs as well, but sometimes I just like to have a super cute one. And it's really nice to switch them up around the place. You just put a few nails up around the house and you can just keep changing them depending on what season it is and things like that. So it's really nice to do that. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it from me. Again, I'm sorry it's been three weeks. I do apologise about that. Um, I will try not to leave it quite so long next time. If I can, I will do one next weekend. Um, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself because, you know, it's funny times, isn't it, in a minute. But I will do you another video ASAP as soon as I can. Um, I just hope that you're all managing to keep well and getting lots of stitchy time in and, um, you know, that all your loved ones, your friends are all okay too. Um, that's the most important thing, isn't it? And yes, Bobby Freds has opened back up as well, just to let you know. If any of you are Bobby Freds fans like me, um, they were shut for quite a while, but they have reopened. I think they are having issues trying to restock because they're waiting for things to come in, but at least you can go and fill up on your Bobby Freds kits now if you want to, <laughs> just to let you know. Um, yeah, so that's me then. But thank you ever so much for tuning in and listening to me ramble on. I do apologise for my cat. <laughs> Hopefully he's entertained a little bit. Um, and have a great week and I shall speak to you soon. Take care, bye.